Welcome to JustMadeGames.com. Today we've got a lot of exciting announcements, and the first announcement you're probably going to want to hear is that our next tutorial is going to teach you how to create your own custom rig to fit whatever player or creature's dimensions that you have, and we're going to show you how to create your own animations and import that player into CryEngine 3. And our last tutorial showed how to import a character into CryEngine 3, but it was using CryEngine 3's rig, and that's going to give you a lot of limitations and so this next tutorial is going to be very thorough simple to follow and you're going to have your own players in CryEngine 3 now so after following these next few tutorials you should start to feel very comfortable with the CryEngine 3 pipeline for importing custom characters and animations and this means that you're we're really starting to get into the meat of our games and you're going to be able to have your own enemy monsters or creatures um, if you want to animate a dragon flying around um, with the knowledge that you are learning in our tutorial series, you're definitely going to be able to start implementing these things. Now the next announcement has to do with the CryEngine 3 community game tutorial series itself. And to sum it up, the CryEngine 3 tutorial series is no longer going to be available to the public. That means the videos are no longer going to be published publicly on YouTube. And before you get all worried, let me explain why this is happening. And I strongly believe that anybody who's interested in following along the tutorial series or who is serious about making their own game using CryEngine 3 is really going to enjoy this new format we're implementing a lot better. And that's why we're doing this. So if you really are serious about making your own game using CryEngine 3, simply log in to JustMakeGames.com and you'll see a new link available in the top profile menu next to profile. Click Learning Center and the Learning Center is the new feature we're implementing to the website that I think hopefully a lot of users are going to be excited about. You have your Projects tab and in the Projects tab we're going to soon have multiple languages, game engines, and programs like 3D modeling programs available. Next is going to be C++ because I know that's one that's very in demand so that the people implementing their code in CryEngine 3 can actually learn more about C++ and what they're doing, not just copying and pasting. So click the CryEngine 3 project and you're going to need to request an invitation. You're going to see a button to request an invitation which I've already done here and this is going to be an entirely free program and we're going to admit everybody who wants to get to join this project but there is going to be a deadline so in about a month I'm going to be uh, restricting users from joining and unless you send me a reason why we should let you join because you're gonna have a lot of catching up to do and there are assignments so I'm gonna log myself in so that you can see the assignments and the format so now I'm logged in and in the Learning Center, and here on my dashboard I can see all the assignments that are due and all the projects that I'm currently enrolled in. And of course we only have one project right now, CryEngine 3, but if you're in the CryEngine 3 project, then under Tasks, you'll see basically all the assignments and all the learning material for that project. So first you may want to look at the orientation and see the course outline for the project, and I'll post this in the YouTube description so you can get an idea of whether or not you feel this project is going to benefit you, but you can see that basically we're covering everything from start to finish, making an entire game using CryEngine 3. It's going to be simple, but it's going to give you the knowledge and the resources to make your own game. And back in tasks, the first thing that you may notice immediately is the assignments and the deadlines and you may wonder why should there be assignments and deadlines for something that is being made for free and for fun and there's actually a few reasons for that now the first reason is because in my opinion and I hope you agree this is going to make the project a lot more fun We're adding the realism behind game development and beginners are gonna see that making a game isn't just about having a great idea finding all the team members putting them together and voila you have a game Everybody who's participating in this project is going to have to demonstrate a solid understanding of the entire game development process and CryEngine 3, which is just because that's the engine we're using now. But let's say that you are a programmer. You don't want to have to learn modeling. That's understandable. We're going to allow groups to be created using the tools, um, the menu system in the project manager so that you can team up with the modeler and we're going to have default assets available so if you're doing the prop modeling assignment and you don't want to have to create your own prop model you're still going to have to demonstrate your knowledge of where prop models go in the engine but you can go ahead and use the assets we're providing. Another reason that we're adopting this format is because JustMadeGames.com was created to be a place for game developers to communicate with one another, motivate each other, bounce ideas, share knowledge. And 
the entire website started when I was so frustrated with something that I decided to make some tutorials once I figured it out so no one else would have to go through my frustration and that's kind of the basis for the entire website. No game developer should be completely stuck and have nobody to turn to and it's actually very motivating to be working with others. We used to have a nice chat available on our website but the problem is that the chat became so popular it was filled with 25 members constantly and once you hit 25 members the chat costs money and the website does not generate any money. All the ads you see are affiliates so that we can offer you guys things like free games in the contests and so I started an IRC channel but unfortunately it just hasn't gained popularity like the chat used to have so I believe that adopting the learning center will increase communication and tighten the community at just make games so in the future we may offer some subscription based curriculums in the learning center for a small fee but I know how it is being an indie developer in college with no job living off ramen I like things to be free and I'm sure you do too and I would prefer not to provide any services that I myself would not wish to partake in if I was a third person so I assure you that any curriculum offered in the learning center will be worth the time and the small fee and the material will be extremely intricate and the instructor very involved but the CryEngine 3 curriculum is going to be free as promised and I hope you are ready to make an entire game using CryEngine 3. And finally the last announcement I wanted to make in this video is that tomorrow I'm going to be announcing the winner for Packet Pub's CryEngine 3 cookbook and all you need to do to get your entry in before tomorrow is head to the forum and in the discuss board in the contests section simply post a reply in the cookbook giveaway thread and your name will be added to the program which is going to select a random winner tomorrow and this is really the only book for CryEngine 3 right now and more than that it's actually an amazing book that I'm going to be posting an in-depth review so that users who don't win this contest can get a idea of whether or not this book's going to benefit them and I'll be providing some sample content from the book so that you can more or less see the format the teaching style in the book and we do have a few more contests with free prizes going on right now just make games the CryEngine 3 Halloween scene contest with Dead Space 2 and a couple of other free prizes and then we also have our source SDK contest being brought to you guys by Planet Philip, which is basically the source for anything source SDK or Half-Life, Half-Life 2 related. Uh, you will see that this website is just jam-packed with information uh, and users um, participating on the website is extremely active. There's already uh, I think 35 comments on the Halloween scene contest and the game is being brought to you guys by the Happy Cloud which I just want to uh, show you guys in case you didn't see the last video the technology that the Happy Cloud is using is really cutting edge and you probably just aren't familiar with it yet but let's say you wanted to try a new game like Bastion you can go to Steam and download the game however long that might take which is going to be a lot longer for a bigger game or you can go to the Happy Cloud and you can click play demo and launch game and you can see my this game just loaded and it's not installed on my computer and this is what happens the first time you play it's uh basically a technology that is not mainstream yet but if you want to start utilizing the happy cloud is the first people to be doing this and in my opinion it's worth buying a game that I can play anytime anywhere without download restrictions uh, and even right after I format my computer without having to reinstall I can just go play my games instantly and not have them take any space on my hard drive and it utilizes the local hardware so uh, there's no latency issues no lag it's if I if you have a nice graphics card you're using your graphics card playing the game so it's not like other um, online subscription game services that you've heard of this is the real deal and it's really going to be mainstream very soon I assure you so go try some of the games at Happy Cloud thanks for watching the video and thanks for being a part of JustMakeGames.com's community and I assure you that there are very many more exciting things coming in the near future from JustMakeGames.com relating to a variety of game engines programs and languages and everything game development related